What's up guys, it's your boy Serge. So today I wanna to talk to you about a pretty cool application that was recently released by Wondershare. It's a document signing app. So when somebody sends you some kind of agreement or a lease or something for you to sign, this will allow you to sign electronically online. In the past, like I actually used to work as a property manager and I had to send documents online all the time. And it was actually really confusing and really complex because you'll send somebody a document and you'll say, okay, here it is, go ahead, sign this. And they don't have the right software to, to sign the document. So it makes it extremely confusing for them, especially if they're not tech savvy. So this program really streamlines uh, document signing. And the most amazing part about it is that it's just a website. You're just going to a website, that's all you're doing. You go to a website, you find the document that you want to assign, and then you pre-fill a few specific areas and you click send. And now the website basically has the file and you send it to somebody's email. And then within the email, they open it up and they're on a web page and they can sign directly from the web page. That way they don't need any special PDF viewers or documents that sign electronically. They just go to a site and they sign there. Let me show you how easy it is. It is unbelievable how easy and, and fast this application is. If I would have had this, I would have saved tons and tons of time. It's unbelievable. Let's take a look. So when you want to sign a document, all you do is you go to their website, you click the upload document button and select the document that you want to work with. Then once the document's uploaded, it's as simple as deciding if you want a password or not. All right, and here I decided not to do a password. Keep in mind that there is a character limit of six characters. All right, go ahead and push next. So depending on who you're gonna send it to, you're gonna need their email address. Make sure you have that. All right, got the email in there. And then what we're going to do is, um, since I'll be signing it as well, you can decide if you want to sign first or if they should sign first. If they sign first, it's probably more safe that way. Um, but if you're pretty confident you don't need to worry about that, you can sign first. All right, so here we have our document. Let's go ahead to a quick peek at it, figure out where we need to put our signatures. So keep in mind that all the signatures are done um, completely on the actual website. So you're not having to install anything. All right, and you can customize where you wanna sign. So on some places you might wanna sign at the top, while in other documents you may wanna sign at the bottom. So we're gonna sign at the bottom. So there's gonna be two fields for the landlord and then for the tenant. So I'll sign as the uh, landlord at the top there and then um, they can sign once we send it to, to their email. And then through their email, they're gonna sign exactly the same way. They're just gonna visit our website and they're gonna sign that way. I went ahead and I selected the other person who's gonna be signing. And so we need them to sign there and there. And then uh, the date's easy, you just click on that and auto fills it. And then when you push next, agree to the end user license agreement and scroll down. Okay, now you're ready to sign. So all you gotta do is create a signature or you can type one up, but I think drawing one is a lot more fun. It's a little bit more authentic. Okay, so we got the signature in there. Awesome, it paste the sing signature there. We're looking pretty good. We got the date going. All right, now we go ahead and click submit. And now we're just waiting on the other person to sign it. Meanwhile, the other person gets that email and then they can sign it directly through that email. On the left side, you can take a look at some stats like who viewed what and what time certain things are being signed, which is pretty cool. They also have the, the specific parties that uh, need to sign like Bodybuilder United and Sinex. We have some information about the actual document itself, like how many pages there are. All right, so here's what the email looks like on the recipient's end. 
it just basically says, hey, your friend here has, is ready for you to sign the document. So sign in to sign. So when you first push it, it may ask you to create an account, but I don't actually think you even need that. That's more of a bonus. All you gotta do is scroll down, you put in your signatures and that's it. And then if you want, it just prompts you that, to create an account or not, but it's totally optional. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. In this case, we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll type up a signature instead of doing a uh, like a drawn version of it. All right, got that, got that in there, looking good. All right, submit signature. Okay, and then there's that prompting that I was telling you about. If you guys are new to it, I definitely create one. This is something I'll definitely be using. For me, since businesses are gonna be sending me uh, custom agreements, I can use this as a tool to sign those agreements. And it'll definitely speed things up, I would say. All right, so now that both parties have signed the document, we can begin to download it, view it, and see that the job is actually done, which is pretty cool. Yep, looks like the signatures are there. The dates are filled out. Looks like it's all properly set up. So let's take a look at what actually makes SignX good. So when you sign using this, it's legally binding and it does use the latest standards. So in other words, this is a legit way to sign your documents legally without it being like faked or without you worrying that if the right person is signing, because it is a digital signature, so it is legally binding, which is pretty cool. So what's cool is SignX will actually give you templates you can use and you can customize them how you want. So if you are going to start signing documents, you will at least have a starting point because they'll give you some basic ones that are already made. It's cool that it has multi-user support. So multiple users can be signing at various times. It's really up to them. There's a encryption and password protection, which is pretty cool. And then the real time notifications, obviously because it's stored in the cloud somewhere. Uh, it is real time. Here's what some of the popular lease agreements look like. Pretty cool. It's a nice addition. If you get signed up, you can use it for free five times. But after that, you'll probably definitely want to actually get set up. So you can buy monthly or you can buy yearly. If you buy yearly, that is the best way to save. I'd recommend trying it out. But if you do work in a business where you actually have to sign often, it, it might actually make sense to get like a subscription. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And um, let me know what you guys think about this, uh, this website and this app. I, I, I think it's really, really awesome, but in, mostly because it's just so smooth. It's so simple and easy and it doesn't require uh, the end users to really know how to do anything that you just basically follow the prompts. So I really like it. What do you guys think? Have you, have you used any other types of document signing apps? If so, definitely let me know. And um, if you do, if you do need help, just let me know because I am standing by. I would love to chat with you guys. Okay, see you in the next video. Cheers.